In my view, the most compelling reasons to start hormone therapy after 60 or outside of this 10-year window are for symptomatic relief or for osteoporosis prevention. Right. And that's really where we have the most positive data. For cardiovascular disease, we do see significant benefits for cardiovascular pr protection when started early. After age 60, honestly, the data are a little bit mixed. So again, the Women's Health Initiative study showed an increase in cardiovascular disease, particularly in the first year of use for women who were outside of that window. There have been other studies that have shown similar findings. The interesting thing is that in one of the studies, which is the HERS trial, where they actually looked at people who had already had a cardiac event and then used hormone therapy afterwards, what ended up happening, they saw this similar trend of an increased risk of repeat heart disease in the first year. But once they started to get into year four and five, that effect actually started to even out. And so it suggested that maybe there is actually eventually a positive benefit that it's accrued. This is the real trouble. Those studies used oral estrogens and synthetic progestins as the form of hormone therapy, which is rarely what we use these days. And the reason why this is important is that we know that oral estrogens in particular increase the risk for clot formation, and which is typically the cause of a heart attack or a stroke. Dermal, so through the skin estradiol that we use most commonly today, does not increase this risk at all. And we have great studies like the ESTER trial, which showed that even in people who are at high risk for developing clots, they have no increased risk of developing a clot when they use transdermal estradiol. 